The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Makes me to lie down in green pastures. Leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord.
sending barrels watching the children go past with tears in their eyes. I know we got some prayer warriors in here. I know we got some intercessors in here. We just come in here to have some church. We came in here to let this family know and these children know that we stand with them. We trust God for them. In the name
but God we serve is able to heal. But God we serve is able to fight tears. But God we serve is able to lift up a bowed down head and ease a troubling mind. I need the devil to know in this place, this morning, we trust God. Clap your hands all over this building and give God glory in the house of our God for what he is able to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now again to this family. To this family. They're passing out the programs now, so we allow them to do that. And as soon as they pass the program out, uh, Pastor Cassandra Jones is going to come and she's going to take the mic and take us further. Amen. 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 Good morning, family and friends. I said, Good morning, family and friends. God is too good for you not to say good morning. Just another day that He's made. Amen. Amen to my family. That's my great grandbaby. And we thank God for His life. Now, right now, we're going to have an oldest song with Nate, Martin, and Simon. Amen. Just before you come, baby, it's Cheyenne in the house. Everybody's on the program. I want you to be close so when I call you, you come right up. Cheyenne, are you here? Come on this side. And this young lady that was going to sing, is she in the house? Come over to my wife. I don't know some of their names, that's why I want them over to my wife. Amen. Yeah. I don't want nobody else to come for the back. Okay.
That's the Sea of Galilee. Stumbling blocks. Whoa. Judging is coming to the world because of stumbling blocks and temptations to sin. He's talking to us older ones that, that's the stumbling blocks for our babies. It is inevitable that stumbling blocks come, but woe to the person on whose account or through whom the stumbling blocks go, come, and the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. Uh, where is the minister? And if you pleasant, uh, come up here to my right. And right now we're going to have a prayer, prayer by Shaheen. That's the, the baby's mama's best friend. Come on, Shaheen. Continue to pray for you each and every day when I wake up and when I go to sleep. You're not alone. I'm never going to leave your side. We're going to get through this one day at a time. I promise. I need everybody to bow their heads. I'm going to ask God to lead me, lead my heart, lead my mouth so that I can go ahead and deliver this prayer over my best friend, over the family, over Diddy. And I just hope that you all can receive. I can hear our cries, okay? Oh, Jesus. Heavenly Father, I come to you right now, God, as humble as I know how, God. God, I come to you on behalf of my best friend, Kiki, Father God, on behalf of her family, Father God, on behalf of all the friends, Father God, on behalf of baby Diddy, Father God. God, I come to you right now, God, and I ask for healing, Lord Jesus. I ask for healing, God. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be the next day. It may not be next week, Father God. But when we leave this church, I'm asking to start the healing journey, Father God. I'm asking that you wrap your arms around each and every one of us, Father God. The ones that are hurting, Father God. Wrap your arms around the mother, Father God. When she feel weak, Father God, pick her up, Lord Jesus. When she feel like she can't make you, Father God, just wrap your arms around her and tell her keep going, Father God. God, I'm asking you right now, Father God. You will understand it when she's confused and don't know what to do, God. I'm asking that you send her a sound, Father God, so she can keep going, God. So she can keep going, Father God. I'm asking to keep the love in her heart, Father God. Days when she don't know what to say, days when she want to give up, Father God. I'm asking that you come to her right now, Father God, and listen to her heart. When her mouth don't know what to say, when she loses faith, Father God. I'm asking you to come to her and let her remember every blessing that you gave her, Father God. It may seem hard right now. It may seem confusing right now, Father God. But I'm asking you right now, don't take your hands off the Lord. Don't take your hands off the Lord to daddy, Father God. Keep your arms around her and let her know how much you love her. And don't let her think about the negative, Father God. Let her remember all the blessings and the good times she shared with her child, Father God. And let her know that even though he's gone physically,
moment because I know. Yes. Yes. Woo! Yes. They hold you. That God holds the future. Life is worth living. And God sent the end. God sent his
And I know this is my church, Faith Life Church on the west side of Chicago. Amen. Pastor Al Reese. There are no mistakes. I couldn't get to all, all the resolution, but I know you're here. We know your support. We thank you for every phone call, every time you've been there with us. How you all walk with my family through this whole situation. We thank you all so much for that. Okay, you can read that resolution. Thank you so much, Ellen. Good morning. Resolution, Chicago, Illinois, Saturday, June 10, 2023. The senior pastor, administrative staff, officers, members, and especially the Kids Zone and Ambassador Ministry of the Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church take this time to express our love to our beloved member, Ms. Denise Jones, and the entire family of Omari Jones Brown. The date was June 11th. The year was 1997. The place was the Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. The event was the NBA Finals Game 5, Chicago Bulls at Utah Jazz. Michael Jordan versus Karl Malone. Do you recall the well-known flu game in which Michael Jordan played despite feeling weak and dehydrated with 103 degree fever? 38 points in 44 minutes, seven rebounds, three steals, five assists, and the tied three-pointer with 23 seconds, 25 seconds left, left the Bulls to a 90 to 88 point victory and a three to two lead in the final series over the Utah Jazz. This basketball game has become a defining moment in the sports history. It is deeply ingrained in the hearts of millions, especially since no other basketball player has achieved unparalleled statistics like this despite facing challenging conditions that Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. The date was Sunday, the year 2022. The place was the Kids Own Children's Ministry of Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. The highly anticipated and exciting GTGIO experience was being held in the basketball area where Omari Jones Brown, known as Diddy Bob, was participating in a game against all his other kids. Unfortunately, there are no available statistics for Omari's performance while playing with his peers. Estimating the points, rebounds, steals, or assists he may have accumulated will purely be speculative. However, I can share that he has earned the title of Kids Zone Children's Ministry, greatest of all time. What makes him the greatest of all time? Omari excelled in all life areas, whether at church, school, or home. Omari performed exceptionally well in every position he played. He's a cherished son, a supportive older brother, a high achieving scholar, and a Christian who always prioritized his family. Omari exhibited strong self-respect and treated others with the same respect. He consistently acted helpfully towards those around him and demonstrated kindness in his interactions. Don't we all recognize why he's the greatest of all time? Yes. Earlier, I stated Omari's statistics were unavailable, but that wasn't the most accurate choice of words. In truth, Omari's statistics are unmatched and incomparable. For nine years, he dedicated himself to scoring, excelling, and mastering everything he found enjoyable. From now on, Omari's captivating smile and lasting impact will be cherished and passed down through generations at Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. It will be forever etched in our memories, hearts, and everyday lives. Submitted with love by the Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. Clay Evans, founder, Charles Jenkins, Pastor Emeritus, Reginald Wayne Sharp, Jr., Senior Pastor. Thank you. Amen. 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 Resolution 7, Paradise and Church, not the Sunday morning grows. Blessed he whose hope is in the Lord God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, the Lord remaineth faithful forever and ever. To the John Sunday. Thank you, Paradise. Thank you, Fellowship. Right now, we're going to have, um, we're going to have the obituary read by Pastor O'Shanda. His life story. He 
Peace and love to you, family, and everybody who is here present to celebrate the home going of our Omari. Most valuable player, Omari, our shining star. Nine years ago, January 1st, 2014, Kiara Jones gave life to a sweet, handsome, and loving baby boy she named Omari Jones Brown, a.k.a. Baby Diddy. He was, the, he was the best kid a parent could ask for. He brought joy and laughter everywhere he went. The smoothest nine-year-old with a heart full of dreams and a soul that could light up the darkest night. Diddy was a shining star in his own right with his quick wit and playful spirit. Diddy always had a joke, funny dance, or fun fact to share, leaving smiles on the faces of all who knew him. As a big brother, Diddy was excited to be a guiding light for his big brother, uh, for his brother King. Every time King saw him, he'd take off running and Diddy would stop to see if Diddy was behind him. And he always was. He led with love, compassion, and a sense of responsibility. He was a comedian, his teacher, his protector, and most importantly, his loving big brother. Diddy's presence brought warmth and comfort to his brother. Diddy had a love for many things, but three of his favorites were basketball, his dancing getting sturdy, and Fortnite. His, he may not have been a basketball player or dancer, but it never stopped him from hitting a three-pointer and then getting sturdy right after. And when it came to Fortnite, Diddy enjoyed outsmarting his best friend, Jays and Solomon, and draining everyone's bank account from V-Banks. V-Bucks. Excuse me. <laughs> it's good to hear laughter in here. Sometimes when you even go through it, you got to laugh your way through. Amen? Amen. So I'm going to say charge it to my head, not my heart in advance. <laughs> Amen. Diddy's future was, a, was as bright as the Chicago skylight. His, po his potential knew no bounds. He was a straight-A student at Arcadia Elementary School, where his infectious spirit and determination inspired those around him. Today, we gather with heavy hearts to mourn the loss of our beloved Diddy. He, loved, he leaves behind a family who loved him dearly. His parents, Kiara Jones and Otis Brown, his brothers, King and Emery, the Jones family, and the Jones and Browns families, his best friends, the Madison community, and the Arcadia Elementary School family are devastated by the absence of their bright light. Though the pain of his departure is profound, they found solace in the memories they shared and the love that will forever bind them together. As we bid, as we bid farewell to Diddy, let us remember his funny moments, contagious laughter, his dance moves, his unwavering spirit, and the love he showed upon, upon us all. His time with us was far too short, but his impact was immeasurable. Diddy's legacy was forever, will forever serve as a reminder to cherish each moment pursue our dreams with unwavering passion and to be a light in the lives of others. Baby Diddy, your light will forever guide us and your memory will forever shine. Thank you for being good uncles and good aunties. And he left a couple of great grandmothers behind. He wasn't alone. This family is weak and we love each other. So I'm going to take time to share that love with you while I stand here. God has been so good to us. Everybody sitting here, we intense. I'm like we running and in a hurry. This thing don't happen overnight. And God is who he said he is. So I'm going to let you know my love for y'all. I love every grandchild, every great-grandchild. All my aunties, all the sisters out here. We love y'all, okay? 
And to Brady Green, we love y'all on one hand. Family forever. We will not own your child. You come too far with this family because they might act like you ain't here. All right, to Brady, love forever for you all because you always got our back. When ain't nobody else there, we know y'all gonna be there. Y'all gonna come here 100. And we're gonna take time. Mother Jones gonna tell y'all thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving on us. Thank you for caring about us, okay? We love y'all. Right now we got um, some remarks. Five, I want five remarks. Now I'm giving you two minutes. You go over two, I have to you know, pull you down. Y'all ain't got nothing to say? Okay. Praise the Lord, say. I said praise the Lord, say. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. We want to thank you for uh, the family, we love you, for the pastor of this head of this church, Dean. I would have asked Nick. He stayed with us with my son. My daughter took care of him like when I got out of school. I said, no kid, what's your name? He said, Nick. I'm like, okay. And they said, a little kid from down on something happened. I said, I go, they said, Marley. I said, oh, okay. And they said, that's, I said, Marley, who is that? They said, Nick. So the whole time he told us that it was me. I had no idea. <laughs> but man, we love this little kid. And once again, all you guys, he's in heaven. So oh, each and every one of y'all, all the all little ones, y'all go get see him. Y'all go see him again. Because all y'all see right here is a shell. That's a shell. His spirit is gone up to heaven. Hallelujah. So once, and everybody in there, y'all can hear us all here for a reason. The reason is to get to heaven. All you got to do is just. Forgive, forgive, just say, God, no, it's my turn. Thank you for forgiving for all the bad things I have done. I'm talking to the wrong folks too. If y'all want to see him again, all y'all got to do is say, Father God, just trust me. Forgive me for all the things I've done. Because we all sinners. We all sinners by nature. But if you keep your hands here to hide them with God, oh man, he will bless you. Each and every one of us in here, go see him again. Because I know I'm going to see him again. Yeah. Yeah. I know that going to see him again. Yeah. Put a father, man, I'm not gonna miss you, but I don't want to see you once again. So just continue to pray for the family and just yeah. stop, stop calling the fathers and the mom and the auntie just because of this, but continue to keep calling yeah. them and praying for them. Yeah. And man, I'm your father, man, I love you, man. I'm, it's my first, I met you at the table, man. I love you, I love his mom, I know auntie, I know, I know auntie, I know her uncles, because yeah. she used to come pick him up from the house. And just God, I keep continuing to bless the family. And God, we love you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everything. He was a shining light. So I just asked that we put it in our mental that God needed that light to shine on us. We need him up there. Um, Michael is in a book. Michael, he's in a book. Michael's mom stayed up there with God. His dad stayed up there with God and his brother. And Michael told, God told Michael, I need you to go down there on earth to watch my people. So God told Diddy, I need you back to watch down on my people. Right. But I won't never forget this story. I said, Kiki, do my hair. And she come, I meet at Nisi's house. And then Diddy come in the house and he all happy. And Kiki said, where you get some money from? And he said, I went in the bank and got my money. And Kiki said, did I tell you going there? He said, well, Cece told me. <laughs> Cece like, man, he got his money. Kiki like, no, nah, but I told him not to go in there. And Diddy, look, Kiki said, you about to get it. 
Long story short, I used to always ask Cece, I me mean, Kiki, is Cece the daddy? <laughs> Every time he turned around, Cece, yes, he would call me. That was Cece, baby. But to know Diddy and to know Kiki, like, I can't believe I'm standing up here, but I had to, I had to for my family. We here because we meant to be here. And we need to learn how to love and continue to love and be together. And we got to cherish the moments. And to know Kiki and to know Diddy, she loved her baby. Yes. She loved this moment. And I just had to say that. I love her. Amen. 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 Good job. Trying to get the uh, the ball there and the, uh, the grass didn't fail and uh, we had to open for it. Then uh, I don't know. Uh, he had uh, had called me. He's always calling me. He's uh, asking me if he got money, so I can uh, buy uh, V bucks. He's always spend money on my uh, card. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, so much music, uh, yeah, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he's what I like to see, uh, to, uh, to the party. She always called me, she's just in the morning. Before he go to school, he called me in the morning, uh, he, uh, he, he called me, he, he called me out before he died. So, Didi, he my cousin, and it was on Easter, he had called me on phone and asked if I want to go to Dave Buster's, and I said, yeah, and we, have a, we had our time of our life, and we played around, and ran, and on his birthday, we went to Urban Elf, we had the best time of our life, and Thursday, I was so sad when I heard that, and I never thought I was going to lose my little cousin. And it's just sad and it's heartbroken. And I wish he was still right here. And, I, and I love him. And he and God say that he is safe. Amen. 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 Call Cece. Did you call Cece and ask her? He said, she said, no. I 
said, you call your mom? She said, no. I said, you call no mom? He said, no. I said, did you already sent you 20? And then I sent you 50. That's $70. And you want another 10? He said, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to send it to you now. I ended up sending him 20. That was my baby. But I wish I had Amen. a chance. I wish I would have had a chance. You would have made it. And I was able to check on you like you checked on me. Every day I was in the hospital, I had to have time with your baby. You called me every day to see why I was okay. You came to my house. I was at your house with my mama. You checked on me every time time cried. You need this bottle. You let me know that you got it. He was your son. He told me to get my rest. I wish I was able to return that. It took care of you. I wish I would have been there. I know you needed me like I needed you. I love you, nephew. How y'all doing? Good. I ain't never get to meet Lil Cuz, and I'm sad that this is the way I get to meet him. And I wish I could have met him. But I'm going to read this verse from Mark 10, 13. Come on. It's called The Little Children and Jesus. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them. But the, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was ignited. He said to them, let the, little, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth. Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like the little children will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms and put his hands on them and blessed them. Amen. Lord, the story, we got to get back like children to enter the gates of heaven. Yes. And I love y'all. How y'all doing? Let's let the church say amen. amen. It took a lot for me to get up here. But I said, I've been around Joneses forever. I got to say something. To so the Joneses, I love y'all. And I'm not saying it's going to be okay, but it's going to be okay. As long as I've been around y'all, one thing I know, the Joneses, they stick together. All right. And they know God. So Kiki, I love you from mother to a mother. I truly love you, and it's going to be okay. I love y'all. Uh, mine's is real brief. Hey, everybody. I'm speaking on behalf of all of Kiara friends, uh, her childhood friends. I'm Tia, for those who don't know me. Um, Diddy was my godson, and um, I just want to say a story that me and him shared when I used to do his hair. I actually did his hair, too, for this service. Titi. Um, I was doing Diddy hair, and <clears throat> Tavarian was there, too. And you know all their names got Varian in it. So Varian the Get your story. Okay, baby, don't speak no other time. Okay. Everybody get your keys. Get your keys. Get your keys. Um, so when I did his hair, I was reminding him that Tavarian names to Varian and Tavarian names. Varian, and he was like, well, what's my name? I said, your name Omari. He said, where that name come from? No offense, oh. I said, you named after your daddy. He said, what? I don't want to be named after him. I want to change my name. I said, okay, well, what you want your name to be, daddy? I'm going to call you that from now on. He said, um, Demarion. I said, well, okay, I'll call you Demarion. So from, from since that day on now, I call him Demarion. But he got his other little secret names, but I, that one stuck with me. And that's all I want to just let y'all know. He ain't like his name. <laughs> and neither is him. He's not the nap at you. He ain't like that. Hi, Jay. I was just cousin. One thing about Diddy is he was always our girl, but that was the only baby I babysit. Like, out of every cousin, he's the only one I watch. And um, after I started living with my grandma, me and him, like, we was always in the same place. So every time he was playing a game, he was always screaming like really, really loud. And everybody in the house had to tell him to shut up because he was like so loud. And it was just before, before, he, had, like, um, before he passed away, he came in my room so happy about this 
Prime drink that him and his friends be drinking, and he asked me if I can take him to the movies to see the little Spider-Man movie. And I said, yeah, because I got paid on that Friday. And he was just, he was happy, and I was happy to see him happy because, like, like I said, I have everybody, like, he was the only one, like, we had a real connection. It was always with each other. Like, when I was, when I used to live in Marshallville, he always was the one that was with me, like, at all of these moments. And ask you for your guidance. It's 
Yeah.